on the bench, as promised, I'm going to tie you up that coho fry pattern. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For the thread, we're going to use red for the thorax and black thread to tie with. We use a Mustad C70 SD size 6 hook to tie with. We use some red pheasant tail for the tail, some medium pearl tinsel for the body, some black thread for the head. For the throat, we use some red thread, four strands of crystal flash for the underwing, and some mallard flank for the overwing. The first step to the fly is to take your red thread and tie it on, build up a good base layer. Take about 10 strands of your red pheasant tail, measure it up the length of the hook, and tie it in for the tail. I've taken a strand of my pearl medium tinsel and I'm going to tie this in for the body. And just wrap your thread back and then wrap it forward. And then slowly bring your tinsel over your body. And I like to do about two to three wraps of the tinsel just to build up the body so it's nice and even. Okay. Now before we tie in some green crystal flash for the underwing, I'm just going to build up a little bit of a throat here. I'm just going to go back an eighth of an inch and just build up a little red bump there just to imitate a red throat. Now I've taken four strands of my crystal flash and I'm going to bring them up onto my thread. And I've actually taken two strands and just doubled them up. So that's actually going to give us four strands for the underwing. Tie them in and then cut them the length of the tail. Before I tie in my mallard wing, I'm going to whip finish off my red thread and start and tie in my black thread. I've selected one mallard wing and what I'm going to do is actually fold the wing in half. Just folding it in half and then I'm making it the length of the tail and I'm going to tie it in as the over one. The last step in the fly is to now build up a little bit of black head. I like to build up a big black head on the fly. And then we're going to take our whip finisher and whip finish off the fly. and apply a liberal amount of head cement so the fly is good and finished. And there it is, the finished coho fry. You know, when coho get a little picky, this is a great pattern to go to and probably the most important thing to remember is the hook. Make sure it's a good stainless steel hook and it won't rust out on you.